Nine months ago, the overwhelming majority of Chileans voted to allow 155 delegates to form the world's first constitutional convention with gender parity, and that promised to address modern-day challenges, like protecting the environment. Many predicted it would become a global reference. But with less than three months left to finish drafting the proposed constitution, things aren't looking quite so good. It cannot be that they want to expropriate our pension funds or our houses. They do not protect us from anything. All they care about is changing the national anthem, our emblem, and our flag. In actual fact, none of these things have been approved by the convention, nor the belief by many that parents won't have a say in their children's education, that indigenous groups will form 12 independent countries, and that farmers won't be able to kill their animals. But it is an extraordinarily complex process in which every delegate has a voice, even to make sometimes absurd proposals that are eventually dismissed. And it's become even more confusing thanks to misinformation campaigns that are spreading on social media. A new study reveals that 60% of Chileans have received false information about the convention. And we detected that 30% of these people shared this false news. It wasn't necessarily on purpose, but if you believe what you read and think it's relevant, you share that information without verifying it. As a result, three new polls suggest that Chileans' support has plummeted for a new constitution that 80% had hoped would lay the groundwork for a more equal and just society. This even before the convention has finished drafting the majority of articles. The idea here is to distribute power more evenly. We always knew that those who hold power don't want to lose it, and the mainstream media, which is owned by major economic groups, isn't neutral when it comes to covering the convention. Chile's mainstream media is mostly conservative, but it's in fact the social media that has the most impact. According to European Union experts, False information or disinformation spreads six times faster than real news, oftentimes because of misleading headlines that have nothing to do with the body of the story. Rectifying or neutralizing misinformation is far more difficult and is turning out to be a major challenge for what may be the first constitution written under the influence of this new technological age. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.